Well, new at five, thousands of dollars saved to buy a home end up in the hands of international hackers. Brian and Sandy Bridges say their real estate agent sent the link. All they did was follow instructions to wire the money. As New 6 investigator Mike Holfeld found out, no one ever checked to make sure that link was real. Now, who is Shanna Botts? For Brian Bridges... Shanna is with the title company. It was a real estate deception he never saw coming. To my eye, it looks right. An email forwarded by their realtor included instructions from the title company to wire funds for the closing on their new home. You see stuff in the news, right? And then it's happening to you. It's, it's, it's a gut punch. That gut punch? He sent the $46,000 down payment to hackers. Look, this is a legitimate message from title team, complete with a warning. <laughs> Call first before wiring money. This is the fake. Did you ever think you'd be victimized like this? No. No. What happened? Brian and Sandy Bridges say their realtor, Kelly Butterfield, an agent with Remax 200 Realty, forwarded the instructions from her personal business account. When you sent that money, did you feel confident you were doing the right thing? Yes. But an independent forensics check confirms right here. their real estate agent's email account had been compromised. The IP address for that title company actually leads to an account Midrand, South Africa. Yeah. in Madrand, South Africa. Who should be held accountable here? Well, you know, based on this scenario, we believe the real estate agent's accountable because she breached her own policy. Attorney Moses DeWitt says that policy was in the contract. A wire fraud alert that reads in part, do not wire any funds without personally speaking directly to the office that is closing the transaction. Did she ever have that conversation with you that there might be a risk in wiring money? Not one no. time. Which is a, a huge problem here because you know about the issue, you know there's a security problem, yet you continue to be laissez-faire with your own conduct. DeWitt has filed a lawsuit on behalf of the Bridges against Butterfield and Remax. But in a motion to dismiss, attorney Philip Bonus argues the wire fraud alert clause, quote, releases these defendants from precisely the risk and damage being claimed. Nobody is above getting hit. Orlando Regional Realtor Association President Jeffrey Fagan says hackers actually time their move for the busiest time of the month. You know, if you drop your guard, you can get caught. Isn't that something? Listen, because the case is in litigation, both the realtor and her attorney have declined comment. This case, though, it goes beyond the real estate industry. Hackers are constantly monitoring businesses, handling financial transactions. It's a real mess. Anytime there's money, obviously, check to make sure the email you receive is legitimate. I have to say, this is the first time I've ever heard of something like this actually happening, and it Scary. really makes you want to be very careful if you ever wire money. So yeah. were they able to get any of their money back? <laughs> yes. This happened at the closing. They're sitting there and they're saying, what, the money's gone? He ran to the bank. Brian ran to the bank. They found out the money was missing at the closing. They called the bank and recovered $12,000. But the rest, folks, gone. Oh. South Africa, just like that. A lot more at 7. Don't miss it. A lot more on yeah, this. Not like a credit card where you can just cancel no. it. It's yeah. right no, out of your account. There was account. no way. Once it was gone, in that oh, one click. Yeah, that is awful. a heartbreak. Right? I hope is. they get it back somehow. Yeah. Mike, thank you. My pleasure.